Okay, so this will be the uh, concluding uh, episode of the Fractal Cosmos, this initial video series. I hope to put this on YouTube and um, link it to fractalcosmos.com and maybe create a little buzz about this theory. Uh, the main intent here is just to get people to get their uh, feet wet a little bit, to not be deterred by uh, the equations and the treatise that my father wrote or the... the um, the laborious prose that, that might be found in some of my papers and uh, just get a little bit excited that these are simple concepts I describe them in less than an hour here uh, I could elaborate on some of them uh, I'd just like to um, add a few words about one issue with this fractal cosmos of course is that in our limited uh, condition here of observation within this universe with our telescopes and our um, uh, gamma ray detectors and uh, uh, despite all our instruments we're really limited to this edge here uh, as far as what we can see beyond our universe the R0 edge however we're in a golden age of cosmology here golden age of astronomical observation where we're mapping out galaxies large scale structure um, we're peering into the early history, what seems to be the early history of the universe, but actually isn't. Um, but we're certainly peering to the edge of the universe. And um, we're looking at uh, the fabric of the large scale structure, which seems to be made up of um, cells with galaxies clustered along certain filaments. You say, well, how did they get there? What brought that about? There's a lot of theories out there. This is just another theory. Okay, but if we look at the um, evolving structure of the f of the um, these atoms as they decrease in size, going from one large atom the size of the universe, perhaps to uh, 100,000 atoms spread in some kind of orderly network, perhaps even uh, following a uh, crystalline structure, a lattice structure, and then these decrease and so on, and going through the series of uh, superclusters, clusters, galaxies, then the galaxies form stars. Is this the way the universe evolved? I don't know. We'll have to look at that more. There's an interesting uh, version of fractal cosmology by Robert Oldershaw, which examines um, the relationship between atoms, solar systems, and galaxies, and sees similarities there. Well, it was a structure that we might today call a uh, call a uh, galaxy once a single atom, and then uh, it. it uh, the atoms within that galaxy, that galaxy uh, subdivides into smaller and smaller atoms so we have stars and then the stars form atoms. This is all very interesting but um, the difference between this fractal cosmos and the um, usual way of looking at the uh, concordance model of the universe they call it now rather than the Big Bang is that uh, this allows for much longer spans of time for things to occur in. So um, we're not limited to 13.7 billion years, which really isn't enough time to get much done in, uh, in uh, this particular universe that we find ourselves in. So um, with that in mind, I'd urge you to look at um, one of the papers I presented at the Crisis in Cosmology 2 uh, conference in 2008, um, where I look at some possibilities. I went to base this um, fractal cosmos totally on uh, whether or not this cosmological model works, but it helps you to peer into the um, outer realms of space there and um, understand better what you're looking at. So with that I wrap up this particular series on the fractal cosmos and enjoy. Have a great adventure in the fractal cosmos.